nag-anghanga dito sa uh, scheme of things for uh, the Tropang Texters and uh, showing us why he's a top cookie. Might be a flagrant foul one on one again. Uh, the way it was replayed. Uh. Yeah, to see hit him at the back of the neck and the ball was certainly not in sight for him to be able to top it out so Ronnie does gonna have to sit down for three minutes rather than say ako na naman ako na naman kayo na naman palati na lang tayo ko yung gabito ako na naman ang bida dito bakit may magnet pa kayo sa akin ganyan ba ang buhay ko I mean I was watching X-Man hindi ko man ako si Metallic ganyan na Ronald Tubid Ronald Tubid is X eh kayo naman ngayon no kayo naman ngayon so it's gonna mean free throw shots nahimik na ako free throw shots at saka ayaw ko na sumali dyan very stupid <laughs> on the bench and uh, uh, ayaw ka sa exterior na yan here's that play again yeah. Yeah, watch for the, the the hard foul there you go yeah, yeah, you know. uh, kunting uh, tapik lang naman they got him on the back of the neck oh. tapos Kal- kalabit lang yun tignan mo ang bagsak niya diretso kay Marky Marky oh. si Marky nandaga na <laughs> ano yung kay Marky yung kay Marky bonus na lang yun <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's an in- instinctive play on the part of Rami Del. Ang problema, nakasakit ka na naman. <laughs> <laughs> so, game continues. Obvi story, aggressive move. Side step, beauty! Yeah. Well, Sean Daniels is not really defending him. He's not trying to challenge that shot anymore. And all of a sudden, 29 points para kay Obi here after 8 points in the first half. And we're all tied up at 79. 29 but, points for the Hinebra import. Nagsona na dito ang uh, Barangay Hinebra. They don't see outside shooters on the part of uh, Token Tex. The fast and the furious and the miss and there's a foul. Mark Aguila came hard off the floor but he picks himself up. Ala Alan Iverson of the old. <laughs> or the Wayne Wade of new. <laughs> I know how fans miss seeing the Fast and the Furious and the Fast break together. And here they are in action together again. And there's a foul. Pagiwa will take free throws when we return. If you can't be in front of a television, make sure you tune in to DZRJ810 PBA Radio on the AM band. Uh, kasama natin ngayon dyan Magu Marjan and Dennis Principe ang ating uh, mga kaibigan taking care of the radio play by play on the line is Mark Tagiwa he was hammered earlier on a fast break play and he makes the first free throw come back with a vengeance here in the second half uh, after having limited minutes of playing time in the first half despite picking up a foul when he came in immediately he has contributed 10 points already here in this uh second half of play and that's not going to be the last of it if he can help it <laughs> could have had more if uh did, if he did not go into foul trouble early uh, meantime here's mike Yee. daniels against Meng. under five minutes remaining in the ball game nice pass but a bad shot <laughs> beautiful pass you know oh daniels i get mad at the guy i passed to Kagiwa feeling it. He's feeling it. You know, remember, Tokyo Tech had a four-point lead before that flagrant foul. Now it's Barangay Negra with a four-point lead and a bad pass completely to a guy that had his back turned. Chatre sends in a veteran, Nick Velasco, to try and uh, set things in order. Jason, uh, Jason Castro is back. Jimmy Alapag will sit down. Together with Kyrie and Nick. Yeah. He will be replaced by Nick Velasco. So. Elter Brad. Elter Brad looking for Kagiwa. He's absolutely looking for Kagiwa for three. And that ball will go out of bounds, and it will go to Talking Tex. Last touch on Aubrey's story. But they're going to be a little bit. They're going to be a little bit. 
Well, Dito nila lang good mood yung ating reverie. <laughs> well, that's kind of it's okay. When you bang him with the body or you hit him with uh, any part of a hand, then that's a different story. So you're going to be OB story. <laughs> Your story is over <laughs> if that happens. Obi story with a wide smile on his face. I wonder why. Well, right now, they're on top by four, 83-79. This is a 30-second timeout brought to you by Handy Kicks. Um, first aid of Mai Mo Bonds all and seals all. So right now, uh, talk and text uh, trying to bounce back in this game. They're down by four. And they're, they're watching Tagiwa getting in the groove here in the fourth quarter. Well, remember, Ramigel went out with still a lot of time to go, so he can still come back into the game because the penalty is three minutes for him to sit down and not be able to just come back on the floor. Let's go to Patricia. You know, I didn't get to chat live with assistant coach Abue Castro earlier, but he did tell me that what they need to do here in the fourth is to get stops. And, of course, they've been defending the perimeter much better as compared to the first half, but they're still very wary of those outside shots of never because we all know that they can erupt at any time. And I think Avi Story was a fire starter. Now, last huddle, they did talk about denying the slashers that open lane. And to play tighter defense on Avi Story, make him pass the ball. That's what uh, Coach Trott was saying earlier. Miko? Well, right now, Obi Story picking up his fifth personal foul. So, pareho na sila ni uh, Enrico Villanueva with five fouls. Well, you know, pwede yung palitan si Rico. Maraming local big men yan. Eh. Pero import, yung isa lang yan. <laughs> so, uh, that's a problem there with a lot of time left. Three minutes and 34 seconds left. Pinebba, by the way, is in the penalty. And uh, Talking Text is one away from getting into the penalty situation. But no, out, no penetration on the part of uh, Chuck and Tex. <laughs> Everybody there never side saying it was a traveling violation, but it's traveling if you have possession of the ball. But it was clear now they couldn't get possession and a good steal here. But we want to the race here. And all in story now with 31 points. And like I said, those turnovers were the thing that hurt Chuck and Tex in the second quarter. It's again hurting them now here. Six-point game for Ginebra, 85-79, as we plunge into this 30-second timeout, brought to you by Handy Fix. Uh, first day at the Bahay Mobanzol and Seal Zool. Well, here's the run, here's the run, coming from Ginebra. It was a close game. Neither team leading by more than six points tonight. And right now, he never leads by 685-79. It's a 10 to nothing run on the part of uh, Barangay Hinebra. And actually, no good shots on the part of uh, Token Tex except on the miss layup by Harvey Curry. Everything else was turnover or outside shots that were challenged. You know, all of a sudden, their defense, Token Tex, has broken down here in this quarter. Mr. Henry Kuanko. Tokyo Texas has been scoreless for two and a half minutes. A lot of the uh, basketball fans keep on asking us uh, when is the PBA going to start. It started so far. We had a great game in the first game between Barajo Coffee and Santa Lucia. And now we're having another good one here. Another Jason, 